What's going on guys and welcome to another advertised video. Cold Pursuit starring Liam Neeson is all about this snowplow driver who seeks revenge on the drug dealers who killed his son. Sadly this is going to be, from what I read, Liam Neeson's last action movie. And that's sad because I really did love him in the Taken movies. I liked him in Run All Night. He's a really good actor. Cold Pursuit was really good. It, it showed its grittiness. Although I did have a problem with its pacing, it was a little slow there to, and especially in the, like the second half. This film is about two hours long, and it just deals with him going after the people who are responsible for his son. And that's all the perfect ingredients for a good revenge-based movie. Just like how Run All Night was with the Antigist in that movie, I felt like in this one they could have paced it a little better though. I did like the way it was shot. The cinematography and all that was just done perfectly. This film reminded me a lot like Kill Bill. And what I mean by that is the transitions. If you ever watch a Grindhouse movie like Planet Terra, Death Proof, Kill Bill, they would do these subtitles in between scenes. Like in this movie, and this isn't going to give anything away, they would do the criminals' names say the actual names on the top and their aliases on the bottom in between scenes. And that's exactly what Kill Bill would do. It was like a combination of John Wick, like a very soft, older like uh, John Wick, and Kill Bill. I thought that was kind of weird, but at the same time, that's not particularly a bad thing. But like I said, the main problem I had with this movie was the pacing. It did get a little slow. But to start off with, it was written really well. And one final problem was the character buildup between Liam Neeson's character and his son. They don't really give you a chance to actually let you give a damn about it. Because you see his son in like one scene, or two scenes. And they only are on screen together for like maybe five to ten seconds. And then that's it. You don't really get to find out what the chemistry between Liam Neeson's character and his son was like. That's another problem I had about it. But other than that, once the film picked up, it was pretty good. And then it started getting slow there. And then you had all this stuff about the Indians on how they made a deal with the drug dealers years ago. And then something horrible happens and then that goes down the pipe and it's just... And all this different mess just keeps on happening. It's like the movie tries to be dramatic enough for you to get enticed. But for me, an action junkie, I got to have that. You've got to have explosions, shoot more shoot 'em ups which there was, but not enough. But Liam Neeson, he did a really fine job. I, like I said, i followed his career since Taken. And I, I like his movies. Some are a little more drawn out than others. I really do like his acting and I'm really sad to see him go in action type movies and it's just a, sh a shame. I think Hollywood is losing a terrific actor. I know he's on up there in age. He's probably in his 60s right now. That's probably why he's wanting to get away from the hardcoreness of Hollywood. So I, I, don't, I don't blame him for that, I, but I don't know what the reason is. All I know is I'm going to miss him and I, I think he's a really good actor. The story was... Like I said, it was a little bland. It wasn't nothing to get overly excited about. It wasn't nothing big. You can tell it wasn't made for that much. But, you know, it wasn't a bad movie. I, I'd recommend it to anybody as a Liam Neeson fan. Especially if you're a fan of The Commuter, Unknown, or Run All Night. Although I think Run All Night was a little better. But still, it just depends on the person. The music in it was kind of okay. It gave you that exciting feeling but at the same time you don't really feel like you're watching an action movie the, with the choice they made with the music. The comic relief for the film I felt was kind of out of place in some parts but other than that some of it did kind of make me chuckle but the two that was out of place I didn't feel like was necessary and they should have just sped it up. It's one of those moments where it's like okay you know we get the message just get on with the scene man. Come on. 
So yeah, I mean, other than that, I, I felt like this movie was pretty watchable. Compared to other Liam Neeson films, like I say, if you're a big Liam Neeson fan, I would definitely recommend this for you. You would definitely enjoy this. The atmosphere of this film made it worthwhile and it made it for a good theater experience. The film is a remake of the 2014 Norwegian film In Order of Disappearance, which is also directed by the same guy, Hans Peter Molland, which I've never seen, but I intend to if I can get my hands on it, just to compare notes. Like I said, this is Liam Neeson's final action film. I hope to actually see more of him, but again, I don't know. Actors said a lot before, and they did the complete opposite, so we don't know. But according to him, this is his last action film, which I really don't consider an action film. I consider it more of a drama. They did have action scenes in it, but I don't really classify a movie to this magnitude as pure action. Cold Pursuit gets a B-. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon. And let me know down in the comments below what you thought of Cold Pursuit. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Peace to rip out.